Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome. What a turnout. Hello, ChipCon. Okay, I have to tell you two funny things that happened in my life. <laughs> the first is that, um, so I was here, I did what you all just did, but it was me and, uh, and Reeve and Jason. And so then they left, and the next person was like, so my question is actually for Reeve, but... But <laughs> since you're here. <laughs> and then the other funny thing that's even better, right? Since you're here, what's, what's Reeve like? <laughs> exactly. My other funny thing was that um, a woman from Russia uh, asked a question, and I... Who's that? What's her name? She's a very lovely lady from Russia. <laughs> that's her name. It's a Russian name. Yeah. And she Beautiful. said, um, she asked about traveling, and I said, well, I'd love to go to Russia, because I knew she was from Russia. So I was really trying to kiss up to her. And then, uh, and then I, it was felt awkward, because it was obvious I was flirting. And so I just said, I, I, I was Is it like, Julia? No. <laughs> She's lovely, too. She was in photo with me. Yeah, she was not. So it's great. And so, um, anyway, so anyway, so then I said, I want to go, because I'd love to get one of those babushkas. Right? Is that, that's what it is, right? It's, 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 it's a babushka. And I was like, is that the word for it? And she's like, that's grandma. <laughs> you just said you wanted a grandma. Uh, yeah, I'd love to mourn my grandma on my head. <laughs> exactly. While she was still alive. So, so I'm, like, I'm looking for a good grandma to go to Russia with me. <laughs> Bring down the room. Let's hear it for Ketch's dead grandma. <laughs> uh, anyway, it really made me laugh. I'm going to work on that story because I want guffaws next time I tell it. I really had high hopes of this being a super funny story. I thought it was really funny. Okay, good. I liked it. But wait a second, don't grandmas wear babushka in Russia? Or no, they're just grandmas. That's what we learned? No, They're just grandmas. grandmas. No, no. So what's the hat? Yeah, the hat's called so what's the, what's the hat scarf for grandmas called? Shapka. Shapka. What? Shapka. 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 We've all learned something here today. Linguistics 101 with Gil and Davey. Or oh, just Russian. Yeah. Russian. 101. Russian. Um, do you, do you want to ask a question? Yeah. Okay. Um, just before I ask that question, I'm seeing that you're still wearing my sticker and I find that really nice. Yes, of course. Uh, this is the lovely uh, young woman who is uh, handing out all the beautiful terms of love yeah. and inc inclusiveness and whatever, and she gave me one. So uh, thank you. Spreading love with the SBN family. Let's give her a hand, please. Because that's what you're about. That's what you're about. It's amazing. You didn't come see me. That's cool. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. You can have a sticker. I can have a sticker? Yeah. What's it say? I love babushkas. Just, just yeah, go get your go get your sticker, Bill. Oh, I get to pick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to oh, we... Yeah, let's just play a little uh, Gil getting a sticker music. Do 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 and, and now for your question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, the question was if you could bring like one character from the supernatural world into the real world for one day, who would it be and what would you do? <laughs> um, oh. I mean, I think Castiel would be a really fun guy to have around because he's, because, oh yeah, because you're dressed like him. And, and he, he uh, <laughs> and, you made a pander. I know, uh, really, I really can't help myself. <laughs> um, anyway, talking to you. Um, I, I, yeah, I think he'd have, be fun to have around, and um, just how he, you know, just how he takes the things in the real world, <laughs> he just doesn't get it, you know what I mean, takes everything so literally, and I think that'd be fun to just kind of play practical jokes on him. And, uh, <laughs> I would, uh, I'd definitely invite Dean into my world for a day, or Jensen, you know, he's, <laughs> either one, they're kind of the same to me, but no, just to hang out with Dean and, and uh, you know, kick, kick Sam out of the Impala and just, just, just ride with uh, Dean for a day. Let him be my wingman. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'll be his. I'm, uh, I gotta go Breaking Bad with Lucifer, man. That's gonna be a day. Oh. Wow. That's gonna be a day. Wow, we made you look dark. dark. Yeah. Hey, listen, I played a dark character. I, was, I just wanted to like drink beer and like hit on chicks with Dean. Oh, he's well, <laughs> stirring shit up. <laughs> But then you just go, like, Lucifer, let's just make that happen. You don't have to do all the groundwork. 
It's true. You know? It's true. Snap. What you got? Thanks for your question. Thank you. And thanks for the sticker. Thank Appreciate you. the sticker. <laughs> Spreading love. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, she gave me one yesterday. Uh, you know where I it was yesterday. Oh, cool. You know I changed my shirt. It's on yesterday's shirt. Right. Did you get your clothes for tomorrow yet? Yeah. Did you not notice that I changed clothes? Oh, no, you didn't. You had another black shirt. Oh, he was, he was giving me shit for wearing sweatpants earlier. Oh, he, that's right. He was like, hey, that's an interesting choice of outfit. You look like Kenny. You look, Gil? You look comfortable. Gil, what's your middle name? Uh, my middle name is actually Gilbert. What's your first name? <laughs> Gil, Gilbert. Gil, no. Gilbert McKinney. <laughs> that's, that's what my mom would say. Gil, Gil well, you know, I'm a sensitive guy. I took it personally. I just right. immediately got my luggage with my room and changed. He's sensitive with the most sensitive guy. No, I really room. changed because I wanted to look more, um, I just wanted to look better for the photo ops. For you guys. More presentable. <laughs> See? Got some, uh, some people who appreciated that. Uh, no, my, my, my middle name is actually Gilbert. My, my first name is actually Mark. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't know that? <laughs> I'm learning a lot. How long have we known each other? I didn't know you went to USC. Yeah. So your name's Mark. Yes. You're so not a mark. You're a gill. See, it's, yeah, it's funny. I mean, I, um... This is the gill. So I was, I was Mark until I joined the Screen Actors Guild in yeah, a mark long McKinney. time ago, and there's another actor named Mark McKinney, who's somewhat well-known. He's an old, he's a bit older than me, but he's, uh, he was in Kids in the Hall. Kids in the Hall. Like Saturday Night Live. Canadian Community. Yeah. He's on that show, uh, Superstore, I think yes. it's called. Yes. Anyway, so, so I didn't want to be... The second Mark McKinney. So. If you were Mark McKinney, you would like you wouldn't be able to sing. But you can't you only Gil McKinney. That's right. I'm Gil McKinney. But yeah, Mark are we having a scat off right now? <laughs> we need a little scat joke. No, 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 I'm actually not a, a scat master, but this is just a little joke that uh, Robert and Richard like to uh, like to, to talk <laughs> about. That he sings through his entire day. <laughs> Taking a shower. Having <laughs> <laughs> my breakfast. Eggs over easy. <laughs> yeah. That's me at home. They call me Captain Jingles. Really? Oh yeah. It's just like because I'm just like I make a jingle for everything I'm doing. Like exactly like. Yeah. Who calls you Captain Jingles? My wife. <laughs> no, because I'm like hey, my wife. Making bacon, making making bacon, making bacon, making bacon, making bacon. Oh, you sing that to your wife when you make love to her? So you're welcome. Uh, that's that's an original right here. I've never actually like sang that before in my life. You are Captain Jingles. <laughs> I told you. I do that a little bit. What's that? What's that? What's, what's happening here? Robbie? Are we? Are we up? Oh, he left his phone on stage. That would have been a perfect opportunity. Oh, ah! I can make all those long distance calls I've been waiting for. Oh, I was going to take some, money. some pictures. <laughs> So do you have any idea what we're supposed to do with this? I have no clue, but it looks like a wheel. Well, I, I know I'm supposed to spin it. <laughs> oh, well, how does this work? <laughs> it's broken. It's broke. Don't understand. I know I spin it. So just, I'll just spin it. Should we spin it? Well, let's figure it out together. Have you been doing this all day, like spinning? Surprise! surprise. Uh, the surprise is I have no idea what to do. All right, here it comes. Grab that. Grab box of fun. Oh, look at that. It's a nicely wrapped gift. Is this like truth or dare? <laughs> I'm gonna stand over here when you open that. All right. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. This looks like something that uh, Catch would have killed. <laughs> look, the good, the good thing is, nobody here has cameras. And none of this will ever end up on, I was on like, the internet. What is this internet you speak of? No, it's, it's true though. These guys are great. They know they're not supposed to take pictures or video. I don't see, never I don't see any smartphones or any like.
exciting things. Well, you know what? You know what any good hunter does? A primal hunter. A real pri primordial hunter. They wear a piece of their prey. <laughs> Where are you going to wear it? <laughs> making, 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 making. Hi. Oh. Just because you I get love two you. options here. Just because I love you. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh no. Catch was actually an evil rabbit. <laughs> it's an, e an evil princess rabbit, apparently. You've got a nice little crown on your head. Hello! Hello, London! It's Catchy! Catchy rabbit! <laughs> Shall we spin the wheel again? <laughs> Maybe. I will wear it as long as the next thing happens. How about that? Do we have questions on deck too, by the way? I like it says drink apple juice. Yeah, right. Let's take another question. All right, let's do a question and then I'll spin the wheel. And I'm going to remove this now. Should we go over here? Oh, yes. What the hell is that? Hi. Um, it was sort of building on. Oh, I'll put it on before I leave. They like you better than on. I know. Put it on. Listen, my head is too big. Have you heard the like uh, the, the biker helmet story? Sorry, we'll get to your question. That's what she said. But honestly, uh, <laughs> bacon, 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 bacon. That will be. You're gonna wake up tonight at three in the morning with that jingle in your head. And you're like, oh, oh god, the bacon's gone. Oh my, why? Sorry. The most annoying thing is now I actually want to eat bacon. Good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. um, Dirty birdie. <laughs> the question was in regard to what Rob was talking about going to Japan and the thing about wanting the hat about the grandmother from Russia. If you have sort of um, a bucket travel list of a thing, you know, a country, but a thing you want to do in a country, sort of. Like, okay. like if, if we could go to any country, what would be the thing specific yeah, to that country I, that I'd like to do? Yeah, but a thing in the country, because I, I crossed mine over this summer when I climbed my Fuji, but something like that. Well, I, speaking of Japan, I've never been to Japan. I would love to go. Anyone from Japan here? Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations! One uh, person has smattered it. Well done, Japan. Here. Oh. Up over here. Yes, I knew you were here. Um, I would love to go to Japan and uh, and and eat some some. I love sushi. It's by, it's like my favorite food. I love to eat sushi in Japan and, and drink amazing sake and then go to like one of those just really awesome karaoke bars yeah, or like one of those private room karaoke bars in Japan. But just me and a bunch of Japanese people that I don't even know and just have like rage and have a great night. I don't know, that sounds fun. Um, I'd like to go to... <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go to Patagonia and uh, do charity work. <laughs> I, just went, I just went under him and was like, I want to get drunk with Japanese people. I want to spread joy and happiness around the world. What a dick move, right? I see, I see where this is going. Uh, Patagonia. You go up, I go. They right? make wonderful jackets. <laughs> uh, and, do, and do charity work, huh? Yeah, that's right. Like, okay. what kind of charity work would you do? In um, well, I'm trying to figure out uh, if I can actually, in all seriousness, uh, mobilize a little bit of charity stuff going now that I have a little bit of a break. And I think what I'm going to do is something for Alzheimer's and brain disease. And because uh, brain health is really important for... Uh, you know, uh, depression and all the, the stuff that we found out, and also just Alzheimer's. So my grandmother perished from Alzheimer's. I saw how tough that was on the family, so. My grandfather died of Alzheimer's. So look, in all seriousness, yeah. if you need to, come here. <laughs> yeah, well, see, we can figure out something to do. If you, need, if you need help with that, I'd well, love to get involved. Great, um, not to bring the room down or anything, great, but uh, you know, all, sometimes it's, uh, it's good to be serious a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is for David. And could you show us the whip it dance? Oh my goodness. Show, show what? The whip it dance. Okay, so this is what's going to happen, thanks to the internet, right? <laughs> is uh, I did 
a dance at the last convention, and of course, no one had cameras there either. <laughs> Verboten. <laughs> do you know how to sing Whip It by Devo? I, I do not. Da -na 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 no, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. No, here's here's the thing though. And I want, here's the thing though. I need to set my marker down for the internets and like future conventions. I will not do the whip and dance at every convention. That that won't happen. I'll just this be like, the last please. Time this is going to do the whip and dance. This is the last time. The last be warned, the internet and conventions. This is the last time I'll do the whip and dance until I retire from the convention circuit. <laughs> in 30 years. Does anyone have, can anyone, but I need the song. Can anyone pull it up on the phone and then Gil will play it? And then we're going to put that back in the box. I wish you'd been wearing that while you did it. But... <laughs> put that back on us then. Should we spin the wheel again? All right. I'm so excited. It's exciting. Imitate someone else. All right. This is my best Jensen. <laughs> that's that's better from this side. originally. That was my original arc. And uh, it, didn't, it didn't say that I die, and then I was just like, I read that third script, and it was like, catch drives off into the sunset or something. I can't remember what it was, but it was like, just very open-ended. I was like, I think I might, I think I might have another episode. I was like, they can't write it. And so they kept getting scripts, and I would get it in PDF format on my computer, and I would type catch in, and like go to the last page. <laughs> Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Catch is not dead! Catch is not dead! So that, because that in this show, you're just like, please don't die, I want a job! I don't want a job! Oh, that's great. That's so great hearing that story. But, that's so great. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. But then, no, I mean, and then, and then you're like, yeah, I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I will always be! No! Oh, oh, the sadness for Catch. So, so, so how many episodes, forgive me, I haven't, I haven't watched. How many episodes did you end up doing? <laughs> Who the hell are you, Dave? Because like, what's your name? He's like, quick, tell me, like, why are you here? 
He was like backstage, he's like, I don't know, you, I hit you with the face. Hey, what, what, what do you do here? I don't know, I don't know I'll watch the show. Um, <laughs> that's half true. Um, but I think, uh, like 12, I think we ended up doing wow, 11 or 12. That's so awesome. But so, <laughs> and look, you're still here. So happy for you, dude. You're a pro. No, it's funny that you tell that story. That's a really great story. I had the exact opposite experience. <laughs> I got my first episode, and I was like, wow, this is awesome, this is really great, it's the Winchester's, it's the, it's the boy's grandfather, this is awesome, and then I got to the end, I was like, hmm, <laughs> yeah. I know, and, and to your point, uh, and to your point, uh, Adam and I talked about this too, that was actually a harder day, because at least for Ketch, his journey, and to have that fight with Dean, it was just, it just was such a great story arc, and I was so excited for the work, it was actually a much harder day to come to set when Adam, I had to pop, boom, Fergus in the head. Um, uh, Adam's fine. I didn't kill him. He's not fine. What? Well, but, well, but that's Adam. He's still alive. Yeah, exactly. Uh, his ears are burning right now. He's like, oh, why? Why, dear God? Um, I am really trying to be um, that's, my, that's my Adam imitation. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny, they, they actually offered me 12 episodes, but I was like, ah, it's too much. I'm just going to do one, guys. We'll see how it goes. But it's, a, it's, it's always an interesting day on set for an actor when you have to die, because inevitably, too, they, everything is shot out of sequence. So it, it, for both of us, we had to shoot our death on the first day of shooting the episode. Yeah. So you have this whole scene of dying, and then you're like, oh, by the rest of the week, you're gonna be doing paperwork and like taking phone calls, and you're like, but I just died. <laughs> Can't we just make my death on the last day, and I can have applause, and like, no, this is TV. This is TV, it's, it's not about you. But uh, it's, a, it, it's a bummer of a day for any actor when you die, because it also means you're out of work. It's true. <laughs> and bringing the room down. I know all about it. I know all about it. I like to bring it. you up and then I like to bring you down. At least I got to die in Jared's arms, so. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Did, his, did he have like the, the long, beautiful, shiny hair? That he I don't know, I wasn't looking at him, I was looking right in, J in Jensen's eyes. <laughs> like, That's, I was locked in on Jensen. <laughs> As you should be, my friend. <laughs> As you should be. That man is made of musk. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I mean, this is a very handsome man, and I'm like B minus at best, but you walk, you walk onto that stage with those guys, and you literally feel your whole self changing. You know, you just sort of, something. Wow. I don't know, you just, your, your voice so gets a little higher, and you're like, hi guys, what's going on? <laughs> you just said you feel your whole self change. Yeah. I, really like that. I, don't, I just. I, I mean, I don't think you're alone in that. Am I right? I mean, but it something tucks. Something just gets tucked away. So. I, don't, I don't know what that. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's the opposite of what happened to me. But. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. They were like, yeah, we're gonna need to let his pants out a little bit. Go back to wardrobe. <laughs> Thank you for that question. It seemed to fuel a lot of conversation. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. I, he's, yeah, they're both they're both very uh, magnetic, charming guys. They're and, so masculine. And also, you guys, I've heard this probably thousands of times, but like as a, as a, a guest actor on a show, um, quite often the lead actors won't give you the time of day. And these two guys went out of their way on, on my first day, you know, to come and like welcome me and make me feel like I was a part of the family, and it was really awesome. So, it, I, yeah, I it's, it, it's important to like remember, uh, and you say it a lot. Like, you know, there's these Hollywood, you know, sort of BS lines in their interviews. You're like, oh, they're amazing to work with. They were such mentors, and they just brought blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but like with these guys, seriously, like. The, the leadership on a show comes from the top, and it comes from the leads and the directors and the writers. But when you have two guys like this that just welcome you in with bro hugs and just there to collaborate, and you're just as important as they are on the day, and they want to play and they want to have fun and welcome you, that's why a huge reason why, other than y'all, uh, is why the show is still on the air. Listen, listen, this Canadian over here saying y'all. Hey, I told you my mom's from.
text? That's right. That's we right. talked about this by there is a text. See, I'm glad how much he listens. He's like, why are you on the show again? <laughs> Who are you? Sorry, I didn't hear your mother being from Texas. Um, um, yeah, they also help you like not take yourself too seriously, which I, which I like to, because um, sometimes, especially like your first day on set, you know, the nerves are running or whatever. I think my first day on set, we did that motel room scene where I was handcuffed to the chair. And I think I would, like literally tried to like break the handcuffs off of me in the scene. I was so like amped up and into it. And I like kind of cut my wrist a little bit. Jensen was like, well, like, Buddy, this is pretend. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks for reminding me. I don't need to actually magically take the handcuffs off. That's not required. Hey, hello. Sorry, that was a long one. That's okay. That's fine. Um, is that Sue? It is. Hi, girl. Good to see you again. Yeah. Love to see you. Um, for what it's worth, um, in your couple of episodes, I love the winters that you created. And um, thank you. What is not? Oh, and dying Jared's arms? I mean, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Could be bad. I tried to fake my death just so he would hold me. <laughs> I was like, I, I went to the director, I was like, I don't know if, it, if Sam should be the one to hold Henry. I think it's more of a, that's more of a Dean moment, but I was like, calm down. <laughs> Jared requested to hold you. Um, you answered my question a bit. Um, I was going to ask if you'd see each other's Men of Letters work, and if so, what do you think of it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, I told Gil, and this is true, on the way over here, I was like, by the way, I YouTubed and researched you on the way over here, and I love that sort of Mad Men scene that you did. He was like, oh, thanks. Who are you again? <laughs> No, he's actually not no, lying. I, I, like, I, I have not seen any of his episodes, unfortunately, but um, he was he was telling me a bit about it in the, in the green room, because I was like, tell me what your character's name is, and just kind of give me the rundown. And he was telling me about it, and I was like, that sounds like the coolest role. Are you kidding yeah. me? Like, you get to be an assassin? To be fair, too, you know, we're we're all globetrotting right now. Like, it's, it's impossible to, like, catch up. I haven't even seen any of my last three episodes. All I know is from what's... People on the internet have told me, so I haven't even got to see the actual episodes because with jet lag and whatnot like that. So I give them a bad time, but you know, like this world is so massive, and when when you're new, it's like, and when you're in Hollywood, you only can get really a taste of a little bit of everything, even your favorite shows. It's hard to watch anything. So and sometimes, honestly, just speaking honestly, it's kind of hard for me to watch a show that I've been on when you've like been on the other side, and then like years later to like I don't know to stick with it and also just be really pissed that you're not on there anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I love these guys. I'm so happy for the show that it's still going and that they, they brought in amazing people like Davey to, to come on and to continue the legacy. Yeah, I love it. And just a stunning, phenomenal work. I love it. I was, I was just telling him earlier that I just love the comedy and the dry comedy and the sort of Mad Men sensibility you brought to the role. I, I just love that scene. And I love that you thought of it as a Mad Men moment because I, that was like my Mad Men moment. I, that was, I love that show and I never got to be on Mad Men. So when I got this, this was kind of like that moment for me. And uh, it was really fun getting to, uh, to dress like that and, and, and be a guy from that era, you know? Thank you. Great question. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Hi. 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 Um, my question is, what do you think Henry Winchester would think of the British Men of Letters? Uh, Man, I wish we could find out. <laughs> so, <laughs> Grandpa! Yeah, um, yeah you know, I, I, I guess I would have to, to well, I, I don't know, he sounds like a badass going around uh, killing people. Are they, these good people you're killing or bad people? Are they hunters? What would you people say? Are the British Men of Letters good? Did you guys root for this guy? No? Come on, we're so just here to help. We're just here to help. I think Henry would be disappointed in the way. From what I've gathered, I think Henry would be disappointed that uh, he, he has not been able to uh, continue the legacy that he, he started in the Men of Letters years ago and to see that this awful, awful person <laughs> is uh, programmed, abused. <laughs> Trying to build so who's, the, who's the leader? Is that uh, is that well? Uh, there's well, we have we have the old men who are still mysterious, but Doctor Hess, played by the incredible actor uh, Jillian Barber, who you all really hate. Like you thought, <laughs> you thought you needed catch. My boss, my stepmom, my stepmom. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just need to 
need a hug. Kits, Kits just needed a hug. Come on. Anyone want to hug Davey? Come on, give him a hug. They, they got plenty. Come on, she need a hug. You're the one? Just let, let me get, have You're a big one. catch cry. Harder, harder. My parents Make are making Kendricks. My parents didn't love me. Oh, that's very sweet. All I wanted to be was a hunter. And like, they put me in boarding school and made me eat a snake and kill my best friend. I'm evil now. Do you want to, I can leave. Yes. This is the, the start of your one man yeah. show. <laughs> a good cup of tea and we're all sorted. I'm going to come sit over here next to you. I feel like there's uh, too much distance. Excellent question. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Ella. Hi. Um, my question has just been answered by previous two questions. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, me too. Do you mind? No, me team player. It's so much you prettier on you. You look good. Much better than me. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, I have to improvise a little bit. Um, I'm hearing a lot of cameras going off right now. <laughs> <laughs> Walked right into that. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Improvisation. I was wondering if you could do a slow motion fight, maybe. Which one? Slow motion, slow motion fight. Doing a slow motion fight. Henry. With, with the ears on. Versus Arthur. <laughs> now you're just getting greedy. I don't know. She's like, do we have any? Uh, well, there's no weapons. Do we have match? Hey, do we have any matching ears back there? Do we have any extra? How about some weapons? Head gear. Weapons? No fisticuffs, brother. Straight up Dean and Catch style. Alright. This could be fun. Let's do this. We're good improvisers. I want us to both be wearing matching ears though. Not in the moneymaker. Yeah, no, no, no. I need a job. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a nice and slow. six furries behind me and made me dance with them and sing Frank Sinatra. Are you into furries? <laughs> I'm not into furries, but I don't judge. Freedom for furries. Hashtag freedom for furries. There you go. I, uh, I actually, I, no judgment here. I popped Betamax one time at a convention. Did Betamax from Big Hero 6? Huh? Baymax. Thank you. I was like, I popped Baymax. <laughs> Literally in my head I was like, I popped Betamax. I was like, is, is that the new ecstasy? Do you want one? <laughs> I was like, ooh, Betamax. This convention is amazing. <laughs> it was so trippy, man. No, we are at, uh, Richard loves to tell this story, so I'm going to try to tell it uh, to the best of my ability. This is one of Richard's favorite stories, and since he's not here, we were doing karaoke one night at a convention in, I don't know where, it doesn't matter. And, and Lil Osric loves to cosplay, we all know. And I was having a good time on stage, and all of a sudden I turn around, and Osric comes on stage in an inflatable Baymax costume that had like fans inside of it. He was, he was all blown up, and he was dancing around, looking all <laughs> squishy. And I don't really remember this, but apparently I just went up and just started humping him. 
And bacon, and bacon, 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 bacon. After a few good thrusts, I popped Baymax. And Baymax proceeded to go. <laughs> to the ground. And then out of Baymax comes Osric. <laughs> like birthed. Ah, he comes out like sweaty. And like really disturbed and upset that I just like <laughs> destroyed his moment. <laughs> and he goes to Richard and he's like, Gail just popped me. <laughs> This is like probably my like third convention. It's amazing they keep asking me back. <laughs> Just oh, go. You can probably find it online somewhere. I don't know. Maybe. You think it's out there? Everything's out there. Everything's out there. Unfortunately, it's like an X Files tag or something. Everything's out there. Hi. Hi. I have questions for both of you. You've got questions. Is that okay? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. We got to fill time. Okay. So David, my question is for you first. Sure. So, uh, was Sketch actually in love with Mary? Um, I get this question a lot, and absolutely he was in love with Mary. Now, would society consider it healthy love? <laughs> nah, not so much. No, oh, high picture. High picture of Mary. <laughs> Chupacabra. You're my little chupacabra. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I like you it. should watch that video, that's funny, that's funny. Um, uh, but, but honestly, I just think he's never known love before, and I think there's like a fine line between passion and obsession, and because his brain and his heart is so deathly broken, his respect for her and all that time on the road, hunting together, and it's sort of like, you know, on the road, it's easy to fall in love. But he also says that he respects her hunting prowess more than any he's ever seen. So as a hunter himself, he's like, mm, wow. And then you look at Sam Smith and you're like, mm, wow. And then you're uh, in a hotel drinking together and you're like, mm, wow. I could just keep doing mm, wow for the rest of the night. Um, get the point. Yes. Wait, what hotel were you in? A lot, a lot of, you know, a lot of, not Sam Smith, the character, jeez. Like, <laughs> Mary, Mary. Um, on the show. But yeah, so I definitely was his, this was the first time Ketch was ever vulnerable in his life. Thank you. I'm really, uh, actually I do want to see some of your episodes, and I mean this, uh, I'm not joking at all, like, you don't seem like that guy at all, so kudos to you, you must be an incredible actor, I mean... You clearly made an impression. Good on you. <laughs> I was wearing rabbit ears. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, wait, what was the question again? Okay, you. my question for you, Gil, is that um, I love Ellen Noir and I love Kelso. Oh, thank you. So, uh, could you uh, describe your experiences with that making of the game? Yes, I, yes, thank you. I, I like that question. I, um, so, for those of you who don't know, I, a few years ago I, I worked on a, a video game. I'd never done one before, but I, I went in and um, read for a, a video game called L.A. Noir, And uh, it was the casting director for Mad Men, actually. Never put me in Mad Men, but it's cool. Um, no, I went in and I read for them, and they were, um, they were casting uh, uh, in L.A. It was, it was, it was, there were a lot of roles, um, and I ended up booking a fairly substantial role in the video game. Uh, as a character named Jack Kelso. And so, I've never worked harder, honestly, on anything. Uh, the amount of dialogue that we had to, to do, like, every day was, was very intimidating. And, um, but, I, you know, I, it, was, it was a great exercise for me. You know, we were talking about that earlier. Um, uh, like, just being able to process, and maybe, I don't, maybe we weren't talking about that. Maybe it was Reeve, I don't know. But anyway, but, but being able to. Be yeah, able to I get me and Reeve mixed up all the time. Those are two doppelgangers. <laughs> Being able to, like, I've never been on a show like Jared and Jensen are, like, where you, every day you've got to, like, power through, like, so much dialogue. And anyway, on L.A. Noir, the script, I think, was 
like over 3,000 pages long. And there were a lot of scenes that were kind of like choose your own adventure, like maybe the story would go one of three ways kind of thing. And uh, so it was very challenging uh, as an actor, but it was, it was really, really fun. And uh, I'm so proud of the work. Um, I'm so proud of the work that I did on it. And it was really cool to actually uh, get to play the game and actually, so if you play the whole game, there's five, there's like five major cases in the game. And by the fifth case at the end, if you get that far, the first player, like who you play on screen is my character. So I had to get that far just so I could like play myself in a video game and run around and like, you know, it was really, really cool. Um, but the actual process of, of shooting it was, was challenging. We did, uh, I think, two or three months of motion capture, you know, where you're just wearing the suits with the balls all over them, just balls all over your body. And, uh, and it's challenging. Hashtag balls all over your body. It's challenging because it's, you know, it, it, it's not the most comfortable thing to wear. You look, you look silly as, as can be. And, but then you're like shooting these scenes with actors where you're just trying to be like, you know, as serious as you can be. The subject matter is pretty serious. And uh, I was lucky enough to get to work with uh, an actor named John Noble. Um, and he came in and that guy was amazing. And anyway, I had this scene where I like, had to kick a door and shoot him in the leg. Similar to probably some of the cool stuff that you got to do. And then stand over him with the gun. And and it was awesome because we looked ridiculous, but this guy's such a pro that like I felt like I was shooting you know a scene in the next like Scorsese film. You know what I mean? It was like that intense, and it was really fun. So once that was done, we went in uh, like almost a year later. I went back in and, and we did the facial recognition, which at that time had never been done before. And basically, you just sat in a chair in a, in a big white room with like a thousand cameras, and they shot you from every angle and just captured the face and all the dialogue. And then they took that image and put it on the motion capture that we'd done a year prior. And it was pretty seamless when it all came together. But yeah, if, if you, any of you are gamers and you're looking for a, uh, a game, LA Noir, it was, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Answer. Great question. I want to play now. Thank you, Princess. I love how you said I wanted to play myself at home. And I'm like, I do that every night. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy. I don't need her to fear. Especially on the road. <laughs> on the road. The road, is, the road is long and hard. <laughs> it's lonely sometimes. <laughs> oh, you're staying upstairs from me. That was you. Filthy. <laughs> this is what I learned about Kill. It's filthy. No, but I'm <laughs> That's not. Oh. I was not dancing. Hi. 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 Let's move on. Um, if, you're, if your character is going to come back in Supernatural, how would you like that to play out? At all. <laughs> but you, you were talking about it. You, you have ideas. No, I, I used to have ideas. I've tried to, to stop uh, letting myself go there. I hope that it happens. I'm, I mean, I'm still hopeful that I can, I can come back. Honestly, nothing would make me happier than to get that call. I mean that. Um, and uh, I, I hope you know, the show, show apparently has some legs, so it seems to keep going. I hope at some point Henry can, can reappear. Um, you know, my, I used to think it'd be cool for Henry to come back and, and actually go to the other side and become more of a hunter. But that was more for selfish reasons, because I just wanted to like, like grow a beard and just be a little more like rough and tumbled. But I just think it'd be fun to come back from the grave and reach out of the ground and pull myself back up and dust myself off and get back in there and go on some adventure with the guys in the, uh, in the Impala. It would be fun. I would love to do that, so. Um, to his point, and we were actually talking about it, uh, I think, in the car ride or the, the bar last night, it's such a dangerous game to play as an actor um, with yourself because it, it, it means that you hold this little shred of hope that Santa is real. You, you know what I mean? Like, the, oh, spoiler alert! Sorry, those who believe in Santa. Still, um, but that I just ruined Christmas um, for the world. Uh, but uh, so you you do that fantasy work, and obviously, you know, it's all up to the writers. It's all we are just you know just little uh, little beautiful puppets that get to inhabit their world. No, I mean that. No, I mean that in like the marionette way. I don't know how that makes it better, but uh, but uh, so so then you do that little bit of fantasy work, and then I'll just tell you mine. 
I still don't know what the cross really means. So I love the idea that there's maybe some supernatural power in that cross that can be enabled. I also like the idea that there's a bizarro catch in the alternate universe that could be turned. That could maybe be brought over and enlisted and take his passion for badness and switch and be a coalition with the guys. But again, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I think we're done. We're getting the for now. You talk too much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.